I'm getting the uh, 20 items or less line tonight. It was a rough one. <laughs> um, and there was two people in, ahead of me. There was a family of four, two girls, uh, a mother and a father. And then there was a girl in front of me who had like two items. Now they clearly had way more than 20. But whatever, you know, I don't really care. It's not that big a deal. I don't mind. Um, they're actually told, apparently, I've talked to Walmart employees about this before, that they can't tell people to get out of line because it's 20 items or less. They can say, this is 20 items or less, but that's all they can say. If they refuse to get out of line, they still have to ring them up. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't play that. <laughs> Jason doesn't play that game. <laughs> um... So this wouldn't have been a problem. I don't care. It, is, it was the shortest line. First of all, if there's people unemployed, Walmart needs to employ more people at a higher pay, too, by the way. Um, but there's never more than, like, three of the 20 item or less, and maybe three, if you're lucky at night, um, regular registers. And it's always packed in there. Every time I go in there, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I just need, like, Rolaids. <laughs> I never buy Rolaids. I don't know why I said that. I don't think I've ever bought Rolaids. That's funny. Huh. I'm going to go buy Rolaids tomorrow. Um, herein lies the conundrum then. Here, though. <laughs> they're paying with five WIC checks, and they're paying cash or credit or debit for another purchase at the end. So six total. And I'm going, all right. I have no problem that people have WIC, that it is a service that provides people with milk and egg and baby formula. I would not have made it through life without WIC. Let's just say that. <laughs> However, that being said, there is a line of respect too. Like, okay, you want to get in line with 30 items? That's fine. Whatever. You want to get in line with 30 items and pay for it in five different transactions that all take you, like, a very long time to accomplish like that's bullshit like you're just being an asshole at this point and I'm not saying that all people that you know need or use WIC are assholes but these people were assholes and I guess I've just answered my own question because I was thinking am I evil am I wrong am I am I going to hell am I a bad person for thinking that these people should get the fuck out of line and like go to another line like if they had done that in a regular length line, then I, it was a little bit more acceptable, I think, because you got to go somewhere, and all the registers are closed. But they had way more than 20 items, so it was just a disrespectful, rude thing to everybody that was behind them, and they never apologized or even, you know, did anything or said anything about it. I couldn't believe it. Like, I know that's kind of mean of me to, to say this, but, like, I just... I was just I was just like you're giving people that I like and like I try to support a really bad name like like that's a great service that program you know um, that helps people who can't afford things like that you know a regular thing of formula when when Grayson I think was born like some of the good ones like the organic ones were like 28 bucks each something insane like that or maybe it was 13 each I can't remember but they're expensive and you piss through them so like that's a huge expense and because of that like thank God organizations like that exist or thank whoever that they uh, get their funding from because <laughs> that's awesome I think it's I don't know I don't know what organization it is exactly, what they're linked to. I wanted to say, like, Planned Parenthood, but I don't think they are. They might be, though. That's why it always pisses me off when people shoot up places like that. Like, you have no fucking idea what else goes on in these. Like, grow up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure God doesn't want you to go into an abortion clinic and shoot people. I am really sure. I am 100% sure. If there's a God, I am... 100% sure he does not want you to do that. Alright, I'll say 99% because I don't know him personally. Um, although, uh, an accountant of mine does go out to lunch with him once a month. They go golfing once a year down in Aruba, Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take you. 
White Russians. Where were they originated from? I think they're an American drink. I don't think they're a Russian drink. But the vodka was probably a Russian influence, I would imagine. So together tonight, if you don't know, we will discover how the White Russian was discovered. I saw Kahlua White Russian coffee once at one of the discount bargain stores and I didn't get it. Now I regret it because I'd love to make that and put vodka in it. Oh, damn. Here we go. Cocktail. <laughs> Cocktail. Ooh, that's a dirty White Russian. An unstirred White Russian. Yeah, mine never looked that pretty. Okay. A sweet cocktail classically made with vodka, coffee, Kahlua. I mean, coffee liqueur. Example. Kahlua, Tia Maria, and cream served with ice in an old-fashioned glass. That's how I like mine done. Like, I, I, mine aren't bad, but bartenders make them so much better. All of this so damn expensive. On the rocks, poured over ice. Five parts vodka, two parts coffee liqueur, three parts uh, fresh cream. I usually do a little bit more coffee liqueur. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I need to get that out of there. I don't know. Variations. Goat's milk, you dirty bastard. A blind Russian made with Bailey's Irish cream instead of cream. The blind comes from, oh my god, I have a little nip of Bailey's Irish cream right now. Oh, I know what I'm making in a minute. <laughs> A white Mexican. Oh, come on. This is just getting racist. Anna Cornucopia. <laughs> Whatever that one name is. Cornucova? Cornucova. Yeah. <sighs> Preparation name origin. The traditional cocktail known as the Black Russian, which first appeared in 1949, becomes a white Russian with the addition of cream. Neither drink is Russian in the origin, but both are so named due to the vodka with the primary, primary ingredient. It is unclear which drink preceded the other. The Oxford Dictionary refers to the first mention of the White Russian in the sense of a cocktail appearing in California's Oakland Tribute in November 21st, 1965. It was a place in the newspaper as an insert. White Russian, one ounce of Southern vodka, cream, with Southern referring to coffee. Oh, okay. One ounce of each, Southern vodka and cream. So 1965, 10 years before I was born. So that's turning 50. The White Russian turns 50 this year, or next year. <laughs> we'll have to do that. I'll do a White Russian video. I'll get some really good vodka, and I'll actually get Kahlua for once, because this shit's bottom of the barrel, my friends. I'm paying, like, for a liter of 1.75 liters is 12 bucks for the vodka. Yeah, it's it's bottom shelf. It lasts me a month though, if not longer. Now, the Kapali that I buy on the other hand, if I can get the big bottle on sale, I can get it for like 10 bucks. And that'll last me three weeks if I'm lucky. It's just not as big as the, the vodka bottle. So I don't know why I'm telling you all this. But needless to say, for about Let's see, 30, 33, 34. Maybe about for thirty-four dollars a month, I have White Russians whenever I want. Oh, Carol and her American Idol. I hate that show. I don't know what it is. That show does nothing for me. I gotta plug my phone in. It's probably gonna mess everything all up, and blow up my computer, and kill me. It always changes my ringtone. For some reason, whenever I plug my phone in, if I've changed it, because I usually do either, careful man, there's a beverage here, or the dude abides as my notification sound, and then for my ringtone, that always used to change, but now I just go with the default ringtones because it fucking changes it every time I plug it in on this computer. See, this computer's got a port. This motherboard's pretty sweet. It's Actually, there's a new version of it out now. I hate changing motherboards in the computer though. That's such a pain in the ass. Like, it's pretty much like building a whole new computer from scratch. Except the power supply is in and removable Q, Q drive and the R drive. No, for goodness sake, no. Leave me alone. So many applications want to open up. 
when I plug my damn phone in. Oh my god, there's another one. <laughs> Dropbox. There's a Sony imaging processing software that works with the uh, video camera, which I'm still not using and I need to do something with it. I want to mount it in the car. I think those would be fun rides. Because I could actually, we could listen to the radio together and then I could comment on it. Because I talk to myself in the car anyway. Whether I'm talking to myself or making stupid noises. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, did I stutter? <laughs> That's what she just sent to me. Alright, pardon me. Oh, did I say that <laughs> out loud? I didn't mean to say that out loud. I meant, um, let me just log into my Comcast account and then I'll reroute the encryption. Okay. Damn. There's nothing wrong. You can go to that site. It's not like it's a blocked site. Yesterday, a 37. I guess I'll tell them 37 because I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I love to hear Axl Rose sing that. I like to hear Axl Rose sing, I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, you son of a bitch and stupid mouse. My mouse. Now, I do a lot of work in Photoshop. A lot of work right now these days. I got, uh, um, together with Alexander today, he's going up to Richmond tomorrow to do the makeup that uh, we cooperatively designed. I came up with a bunch of ideas. We sat down with one that we liked, and I kept tweaking it until we both agreed on it. And I think I like it now. It's very more subtle than I expected it to be at the beginning. I'll see if I can post a picture of it. I've, I've done a few drawings, too, of how I would like it to look, but this really isn't my movie, so I can't really do that. So when he was sitting here today, came up with that. Oh, where's my freaking software? There it is. Okay. Sorry this is always, like, on an angle. I got the light coming from my right-hand side. So I was thinking this. Um, this would be a little bit more tribal, I think, if I went that route. We went a lot more subtle. This one I just went crazy with, like, tribal slash patterns just to see if anything jumped out. Damn it, it's hard to see. Um, and the concept art of her that I got to see, she's wearing some kind of a jumpsuit, so she's some kind of a pilot or something, but she's supposed to be this ancient, ageless creature. So she might look like she's, you know, 30, but she's actually, you know, like 200. I like this one. It, it was a little bit more elven. I would have liked to see some, I want to put some, like, more leafy ideas into it. But actually, I think, you know, tomorrow I'll know where it went because uh, he goes to see Alex. Who is... Hello? Wait, what would you say? You want me to download American Idol? Yeah. You don't like that show. Am I embarrassing you in front of your video friend? No, you're probably embarrassing yourself because I've got you on speakerphone. <laughs> you want to say hi to everybody? No. <laughs> um, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, snap. <laughs> All right, it's downloaded. You <laughs> Thank you. You realize we're talking about downloading? <laughs> no. Oh, man. All right, skip the No, Let's no. <laughs> tell them, tell them uh, you meant um, logging into the Comcast account. <laughs> well, it's just on television and we pay for cable sometimes. You're right. You're right about that. I'm going to talk about that right now. Now, I'm going to let you go, okay? You ready? Uh, all right. <laughs> Bye. That was fun, huh? I knew I'd get her on here one way or another. <laughs> oh, that's my car. That's right. So
called it. Claimed it. Well, that kind of threw a uh, little monkey wrench into the thing, so I'll probably still close this, let's face it. Nobody gives a shit what I'm doing. I'm one man. I'm just one man. Oh, the strain! Oh, where did my software go again? Did I shut it? Oh, thank God, it's still recording. <laughs> 15 minutes. Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> okay, he's got a show. He wrote a fantastic book with... I can't remember the other guy. But if you look it up, it's called Strain. And I think there was three of them. I can't remember. I was reading another series about very similar idea for a while. Oh, shit. I can't remember what it was. But The Strain was fantastic. I really, really liked it a lot. Um, if it's the one I'm thinking of and not the other one. <laughs> if it's not, if it's the other one, I like the first one. That's right, because uh, there's a Russian in the in the other one, I think. I, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Check out The Strain. It's coming out June 24th, I believe, on FX. Um... I think it's going to be a pretty good show, because the, you know, it's Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> Boy, it just feels good to say that. Maybe I was a Spaniard in a former life. Or a Scotsman. <laughs> or maybe a samurai. I don't know. Did I tell you that one? There's a story way back in one of these about how I always hold my hand like this. And I always feel like I caught an arrow in the chest in a previous life. I don't know. Maybe it was crazy. All right, uh, fuckers. Thanks for coming by, and I hope you guys had a great day today. It was beautiful here in Virginia, one of the best days, and I didn't get to experience a lot of it because I was just busy all day today. I need to cut the lawn because we have feral cats starting to come into the yard at this point. That's how bad it's gotten. Everybody else's lawn looks pretty good. All right, you guys have a great night. Thanks for coming back with the second one. I had a lot of fun. I don't know if you did. I hope you did. Um, I'm going to go drink my drink, get my swerve on, and um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow night. Further on down the road to... Forty. I'm going to write a theme song. <laughs>